Be amazing traders. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's yours, Julie Eddie Chooks. So welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Guys, I am super, super excited to uh, be in your presence today once again. You know, uh, trading is really, really, really blessing. A blessing to me, you know, like... Two years ago, I was praying for what um I'll be doing for the rest of my life, you know. And God um had it uh, on me to start trading, you know. Started with affiliate marketing, which later did not end up well with me because it was quite uh, much of a stress to me. Uh, so in today's video, I want us to um talk about multiple time frame analysis, you know, the free course video i've been doing for quite some time now we still have about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen about thirteen topics to talk about we just made um some few topics which are one two three four five six um seven eight which are eight topics we've talked um we've spoken about um remaining just um 13 of them which i am still constantly going to be updating you guys on what you should know about trading and for the other videos you can equally be watching them and then be learning from what i teach um uh, in those videos because they are very very insightful if you are able to learn uh, what i do you're able to uh, learn just as i teach you are good to go guys just you are very very much good to go you just have to stick to your own trading rules and then manage your risk predominantly over the profits you are going to be making. Because one thing with trading is that trading comes with a lot of risks and a lot don't know about it. They are just super, super excited to be making huge amounts from trading. Whereas that is not the case. You have to um, set realistic goals for yourself and for your own account to grow it over time. Like I always say, trading is not a get rich game. It's to grow your capital to a sustainable amount. Then you can risk uh, some portion of it to make larger and larger and larger profits for yourself. So that being said, let's jump into the charts and do um, what we are supposed to do today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's welcome inside of my screen. We are going to be doing multiple time frame analysis, and we are going to do it with uh, we're going to do it with um, Euro USD. You know, we're going to do it with Euro USD. Very very uh simple pair that will help us to understand what we are really really doing in the forex market. So. Multiple time frame analysis includes using different time frames for your own trading. Multiple time frame analysis includes um for you to use different um time frames to uh know the overall direction of the trade while you execute on the lower time frame. This is how I do my own trading. I go on the higher time frame to see what um let's see what the higher time frame is doing you know you have to see what the higher time frame is doing stuff like that and then you scale down to your lower time frame to also uh, see what it is doing then you can be able to whether buy or sell or stay out of the market so um, I, I love to do my multiple time frame analysis from the three months time frame. I love to start from the three months time frame to get the overall direction of the chart in the market. So this is um, how I do it. Let's get right into it and then we we'll do something for ourselves. So for Euro USD, you want to start on the monthly time frame just by seeing this. What uh, is Euro USD telling you that it wants to do? It definitely wants to continue the downward movement pretty much understood because if you watched the previous videos I, I, I had made about uh, the ultimate chart patterns you should know what um, these patterns are for when you see them on the higher time frame you should know what these patterns are for 
when you see them on the higher time frame, very, very important, very, very insightful. So this is Euro USD on the three months time frame. So how do you do multiple uh, time frame analysis? First, you want to go on the three months time frame to get the overall direction in the markets. You want to go on the three months time frame to get the overall direction in the market. And as you can see here, one, we have double top formation, which has broken the neckline. We have double top formation, which, are, which has obviously broken the neckline. And this neckline is standing on a very, very uh, important, standing on a very, very important psychological level of 1,000. 1.10,000, something on a very, very important psychological level of 1.10,000 in the market, which is number one. You want to know the overall direction in the market. Overall direction in the market is bearish. Overall direction on Euro USD in the market is bearish because of what? Because of the presence of the double top formation. Because of the presence of the double top formation we have on the three months time frame. Then what is the next thing we do? Still go down to the monthly time frame, having in mind listing, having in mind that the overall direction of um of Euro USD is still to the downside because of what the presence of the double top. And we know that um, rules of price action states that whenever a neckline is broken, it always comes back to retest it, then continue that downward movement. While you see um, all these chart patterns on the lower time frame don't work, is because of they are not as strong as the ones on the higher time frame. They are not as strong as the ones on the higher time frame. You understand? What the banks do is basically they come on a higher time frame to see all these chart patterns so they can see where to um, um, substantially push the market. So it's very, very important to understand all these things. All the banks do is they come on the higher time frame to see where they can um, substantially push the market to, because they want to get the overall direction in the market which is why they come on the um, higher time frame to see the overall direction. And after they've seen it, they will mark out their key levels at this point of prices, which I just marked out. At this point of prices, which I just marked out. The psychological level, the major levels we have in the market. This is one, 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 one dot 1.000. 1 the psychological levels we have in the market, which are very, very, important levels we should always focus on this this one is a minor level in the market this one is a minor level in the, and you can see i marked this out without knowing that it's, it was going to touch this and this these are all important levels in the market and you can also differentiate them so that you know exactly what they stand for whenever price gets to that point you know exactly what they stand for whenever price gets to that point. Very, very easy and simple to do. Then this one is this one here is a this one here. What am I doing? Um this one here is a minor level. So this one here is a minor level, and as you can see, it is, it is, uh, as you can see how I am marking these levels, you have to mark your levels at these price points, which is very, very important for you to also understand what exactly the market is doing. I'm marking these levels here because these are uh, the main places price is at now. This is the main place price is at now. So you want to, uh, focus you want to focus just on this space here 
not to focus just on this space here because now you know the overall direction the market i know what basically you want to be doing in the market without hesitation without uh either buying or staying out of the market you want to be looking for only sell opportunities this is what it, it means by um uh, multiple time frame analysis you have to use from the three months time frame you scale down to the um, lower time frame to then take your own trading decision you have to know what each time frame is telling you is it telling you to buy is it telling you to sell is it telling you to do this or is it telling you to stay out of the market so for the monthly time frame the monthly basically tells you um the monthly basically gives you the chart patterns um as the three months time frame gives you it also, it also gives you the candlestick formation we have it also gives you the candlestick formation we have like so this is the candlestick formation we have which is the bearish engulfing come in, let me remove this indicator so you can see what i'm talking about clearly so this is the three month this is the monthly time frame which gives you the bearish engulfing which is telling you that yes the market is going down because of the presence of this bearish engulfing remember that we are in a downtrend remember that we are in a downtrend because you take up your Fibonacci from swing high here to swing low here you can see the market has currently the market has currently closed below very very simple the market has currently closed below the 50 Fibonacci zone the golden zone we have in the market the market closed for last month's trading below this zone so what are you going to be looking for selling opportunities at a good confluence in your market at a good confluence in your market you are going to be looking for selling opportunities this is how to use your multiple time frame for your own analysis so for the monthly it has shown you that we have a bearish engulfing bearish engulfing uh december month of price the whole december month of price we had a bearish engulfing that month of price and then what next should you do after marking out your key points in the market we know that after marking out your key points in the market we do know that this area is a major level this area is a minor level this area is a major level very 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 important and then if you take out your feet from swing high to swing low we do know that the overall direction for euro usd is to the negative 27 feet extension is it going to reach there i don't know but we know that the rules of fibonacci states that whenever we have price move it must surely come to the negative 27 feet extension Point. so reading was way more here before i was even born so i don't intend to change anything or tell you guys about nothing i'm just going to tell you guys how it is and how you should use it for your own trading so as you can see this place is uh, right with the psychological the minor psychological level of not um, point eight eight thousand so this is our overall target for euro usd from the monthly time frame from here to here is roughly about 1900 pips from here to here is roughly about 1900 pips to the downside so um the monthly has told us that yes we had a bearish engulfing for last month's trading which is uh january we had a bearish engulfing um uh, the december price action movement by the january price action movement which is number two after number after number one i'm looking at uh, the overall direction from the three months time and also looking at the powerful chart pattern we have there come down to your monthly look at the current trend in the market look at the chart pattern still the double top formation you look at the present price action from here to here you look at the present price action look at uh you see that the market has created that bearish engulfing and this place or is an area of interest from here to here it is a very good area of interest of the fibonacci 
good things. And the next you want to do is to go down to your own weekly time frame to see what you have there. Also, we are also looking at chart patterns. You want to consider what is really, really happening in the market. You want to consider what is really, really happening in the market without looking at the previous price action because you want to really be focusing on this area of price without looking at what has happened in the past. It's very, very important to look at what has happened in the past on the monthly time frame, the three months time frame. But then once you come down to the weekly, you have to focus on uh, where price is at because you really want to know what is happening in the market. So this is Euro USD on the weekly time frame. So what is happening on Euro USD in the weekly time frame? For me, what I do see here is another chart pattern. Another reversal chart pattern. A very, very, uh, very, very important reversal chart pattern we have in the market, but I am not really convinced about it. But then we are just going to um see what the market I going just we are just going to discuss what exactly the market has given us. So on the weekly time frame, after identifying what you had on the monthly time frame, you come down to your weekly time frame to also to also identify um, what you have on the weekly time frame. So what do we have on the weekly time frame? I am currently seeing now an inverse head and shoulder pattern. This is the head and then this is the right shoulder, potential right shoulders. This is the head, this is the head, this is the left shoulder and then this is the potential right shoulder. So this is what I'm currently seeing on um, Euro USD on the weekly time frame. And then I am also seeing for this, I don't know if I am correct, but this is just what the market is being printing out. But based off from market structure, we can see that the movement was up, the pullback into the golden zone, and then we got a big break of structure, breaking the previous structure, and then also breaking this structure, went back to retest in the golden zone, and then currently we are now uh, trying to make that continuation to the downside. We are trying to make that continuation to the downside. So after noting all these things on the weekly time frame, you can also see we do have um, a kind of trend line from that touch from here. We do have that kind of trend line from here, from this top here, across this second touch, and then we we touched here for the third time which i am also considering as also the second touch because after this touch we didn't have that much drop as we had on this first touch so i'm also considering this as a double top formation to continue that trend to this um, negative big extension region so after doing all this analysis this is where you now come down to the main one, the main time frame which you are going to be uh, very, very cautious about, uh, about the present trend in the market, which you are going to be very, very cautious about, about the present trend in the market. So this is the present trend in the market. We do have it as Euro as it was making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Came up here and then we saw that uh, momentum to the downside. We saw that momentum to the downside. This is where you now see if the daily is aligning with the monthly. Very, very important. This is where you now see if the daily is really, really aligning with the monthly. If the daily is aligning with the monthly, you can go ahead and take your trade. But if the daily is bearish and the monthly is bullish, you have to wait for the daily to correct to being bullish before you take your own trading opportunities. You have to wait for the daily to correct to being bullish. If it was bearish, you have to wait for the daily to correct being bullish before you take your own 
trading opportunities. And from what I can see here, Euro USD set it up by correcting to the downside by the presence of this uh, counter trend line from this low here across this and then we got that break of this trend line which um, gave rise to about which gave rise to about um, 119 91 pips to the downside and then after that we are currently having that pullback to um, definitely come and then retest this zone here which I am very much convinced we are going to get a retest of this zone here. This uh, golden zone, we are going to get the retest of this zone here. Watch what happened here. After we came down here, we came back and then we retested that zone. That's all is going to be seen on the four hour time frame, how the market has changed its bearish trend to the bullish trend. I also have to always wait for the market to correct itself because if you are very very nervous and if you are very very uh, impatient you are going to be taking losses on um, several trading which you are not being patient about so this is currently how you do your uh, multiple time frame analysis scale down from the uh you scale up to the three months time frame you come down to the monthly time frame and then you decide what is really, really going on in the weekly time frame. Come down to the daily time frame. Is the daily time frame aligning with the monthly? If it's not aligning, you, you have to wait for the trend to align with the monthly time frame before you take your own trading opportunity. In that way, you are even much more safer to follow the trend. Like I said, the trend is your friend. You, are, you always have to follow the trend. You always have to follow the trend because the trend is your friend. So, that being said, let's go down to the four hour time frame to see what is really, really going on. And as you can see, on the four hour time frame, the market has uh, drastically changed to being, um, the market has drastically changed to being bullish once more because we had that break off from the golden zone we had that break off from the golden zone which we are going to be expecting that retest the final retest we are going to be having on inside the golden zone which we are going to be expecting that final retest from swing high here to swing low here so i'm going to be expecting that uh that we test around this smaller golden zone we had in the market. I'm going to expect that we test around this zone before the continuation to the downside. So that is what I feel um will happen for this trade. That is what I feel will happen for this trade. And then obviously if we get the break of this um counter trend line, then we can see that um, the market is really really ready to continue its downward movement on the four hour time frame is where basically you execute your trades and then you uh, minimize your stop losses is where basically you execute your trades and then you minimize your stop losses and you can use 50 pips to bag like over 500 pips to the downside or to the upside if you really know what you are doing but again as a swing trader i feel like uh, your minimum lot size sorry your minimal um stop loss should be 50 pips your minimum stop loss should be 50 pips because you want to give the trade room to breathe imagine if you set your stop loss to about 30 pips and then the market takes you out and continues in your direction that would be the worst moment of your life because they are taking your money you also have to get it back before you open another um, trading. So that is it for this multiple time frame analysis. Recap on what we did. You go on to the three months time frame to get the overall direction in the market. Get the overall direction in the market. And then you saw the presence of this double top. So the break of the neckline, you saw the pullback to retest the neckline not only the neckline but also to retest the feed extension 
um, the golden zone and then you go down to your monthly time frame to mark out your major and minor levels you have in the market by the psychological path mark out your major and minor levels you have in the market after which you determine the current trend in the market which the current trend in the market is obviously here determine the current trend in the market which is obviously here after that you look into the present candlestick formation we do have here and then for last month's trading we had um, that bearish engulfing december month of price very very important then after that if there's any need for fibonacci you draw it as far as the mass the market is, is concerned all these things work together for your own good trading decision so on the weekly time frame is where you look at um also another form of chart patterns and then you look at the market's um trend also is it bullish or is it bearish or is it sideways you understand for now euro usd is still very much uh euro usd is still very much this range from here from 1.12,000 to 1 .05, so uh, if we get a nice push to the downside to here and then we we definitely break below 1.05,000 then we know uh, definite next target will be to this uh, yellow bar of the negative 27 feet extension very 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 important that you know uh, these things and then how to use these different time frames to analyze your trade for a better swing trading decision after which you go down to your daily time frame is the daily aligning with your monthly if it's not aligning you have to wait for it to correct to either being bullish if the monthly is bullish or either being bearish if the monthly is bearish very 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 important you have to wait for some sort of confluences to happen in the market if that is the case because the overall trend is bearish you want to be looking for only selling opportunities that will save you much more stress psychologically capitalically that is your capital will be protected from taking unwanted setup in the market your capital will be protected from taking unwanted setups in the market after which you you wait for these things to play out you wait for these things to play out i see i can get uh, a trend line for the bearish flag yeah which is not really really perfect but because the overall direction is the downside we are solely going to be looking for that selling opportunities patiently waiting for your own edge to happen in the market is very very important patiently waiting for your own edge to happen in the market is very very important because you want to wait for your own confluences to happen in the market so after which you go to your execution um, time frame which is a four hour time frame you look at um what the market is doing is it making higher highs or higher lows or it has shifted structure to the downside so what am i going to be expecting here is for push down something like this and then we get the break of structure and then we pull back to retest then we continue that downward movement very very easy you just have to be patient enough to wait for this um, trade to turn bearish before you take it you just that is just what i feel uh, multiple time frame analysis is all about and i practice this every time anytime i open up my laptop i practice this um, so that i can able to uh, maintain it in my head and i can able to be doing it while i teach you guys how to also do it all right so that's my time that is my time guys i just want you guys to keep on doing the right thing Keep on doing what is right in the market and keep on following your own trading rules. I'll catch you guys in the subsequent videos um, about the ultimate forest swing trading course. 
catch you guys in the subsequent video stay safe and peace out